happy Thursday everyone and welcome oh my god there's too many people still finding it so awkward to vlog in public welcome to vlogtober part two I hope this part is going to be a little bit more coherent than the last part but we'll see I'm walking home now I've just spent about an hour in town after my workshop I had this morning which was so good really happy I did end up going to a charity shop and I will show you what I got um, but yeah, I'm just gonna now go home. The bathroom needs needs a clean, so I'm gonna do that and then see what, see where the day takes me. I'm just gonna keep you on my phone for a minute. It's just easier. Um, so what I got from the charity shop was it's actually a throw, but I will be probably using it as a scarf because I love a thick, like kind of massive scarf. Oh. Now, my only issue is maybe it's a bit short. <clears throat> we'll see. And if not, I'll just use it as a as a throw. But it was five pounds and I thought, you know, it's so soft as well. Oh my gosh. I might put that through the wash at some point. I like it as a throw as well. It's very nice. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to have a shower, right? Actually, no, I'm going to clean the bathroom first, then have a shower because I am sweaty. The workshop today was very physical and the studio we're in is very stuffy and warm on a good day uh, with no windows. So um, we, got, we got a little bit stinky and a little bit sweaty, but it's all good. It was so much fun. Um, but yeah, I've got the rest of the day now and I'm just going to probably, yeah, as I said, clean the bathroom. I want to um, edit part one, finish editing part one. Ooh, if you watch part one, you'll know I've got a Halloween garland that I have to put together and put up. So I might do that. And I mean... I don't know why I'm explaining this because you will hopefully see if I get any footage, but that's been my morning so far. It is much later on in the day now. I have done my theatre group thing all day from 10 until 4. It was really great. We had a workshop on directing and sort of dramaturgy and how to put together uh, the beginnings of a production. I've got home, uh, put a wash on, had a shower and now I'm waiting to start dinner, waiting for Jack to get home. And then I'm gonna start getting ready because we're going to the theatre tonight. It's gonna be a very theatery weekend. We're going tonight and tomorrow night. And tonight we're gonna to go and see Frantic Assembly's Othello, which is a very important show to me. I saw it first off in 2014, which I went to see because school made me go see it. And we kind of studied it in school. And I had to write about it in like an assessment. I then used the that production in my dissertation. One third of my dissertation was on this production. But basically this production is really important to me uh, within my personal taste and development 
as a theatre maker, an artist, an actor. <laughs> it sounds so pretentious. <laughs> but it's true. And also um, in my academic life, that dissertation I got a first in and it's still to this day something I'm really proud of. So I'm really excited. And tomorrow we're gonna go and see a production called Delicate by a company called Extraordinary Bodies. I'm also uploading part one of Vlogtober right now, which is exciting. You're cute. Out of the nowhere, camera. Bit of back a while ago from our cute day out together uh, we don't often get time like that together he is currently on discord i think with his friends playing games anyway men am i right boys boys literal children yeah we don't really spend too much time together because our schedules just clash and then we do usually have sundays off together but then someone has to go and play football so it's really nice to just spend some quality time together it's actually our 11th month anniversary today as well which just so happens to be the day that we've booked off well jack booked off and uh we have a fun filled day so that's really cute 11 months what the heck we still have dinner tonight. We have a reservation at 6.15 at ZZ's. So that's exciting. And then we're going to the theater again, just to be those people. But anyway, I wanted to sit down and just show you the things I ended up buying today. So from Cancer Research, I, pi I picked up this cute skirt. It's very me because it's giving grandma. It's giving, uh, 
you know, going hunting with the royal family <laughs> vibes, which I'm just, yeah. Especially for autumn winter, I thought this was super cute. Then from an antique shop, really adorable, tiny, basically cupboard, Harry Potter vibes um, antique shop with a really enthusiastic man who was just, also if you can hear the wind, it's absolutely blowing a gale outside, so I apologise. He was incredibly enthusiastic about his antiques, which I loved. He was very sweet. And I picked up these buttons. I will show what they look like in a cutaway. They are Victorian painted buttons with cut steel, which is exciting because he said that they are made of separate pieces of cut steel and like welded together, I think that's what he said. And they're also by the looks of it hand painted. So these are over a hundred years old and they still look absolutely stunning. And I just love the fact that they... <laughs> They've like survived this long and I'm gonna hopefully use them in a sewing project at some point. Even if I don't, I just thought they were really pretty. They had some amazing buttons, like from Victorian buttons to like the 20s and 30s and 40s and then 60s. Some of the 1930s buttons were adorable, like so quirky. I feel like every time I go to this town, I might have to pick up a set of vintage antique buttons because they were just so cute. And the last thing I got, <laughs> So she's in here at the moment. Let's let's open her up. This was a little treat to myself. I mean, they all were treats to myself, but the least practical thing I bought is, wait, she does have a name. Okay, wait, okay. <laughs> Suffragette mouse made of felt. <laughs> she's called Emmeline, which I mean, of course. I was gonna call her Pancake because it plays on Pankhurst. And it's not quite as on the nose as Pan as Emmeline. So I think I'm gonna change her to Pancake. Or Emmeline Pancake or Pancake. But anyway, I could not leave the felt mouse suffragette. I couldn't, I mean, come on, look at her. She's so cute. And I got the one with a slightly wonky eye because it reminds me of my dog. She's got her votes for women sash on. She smells nice too, it smells like lavender you know? It's from a brand Felt So Good. I don't know if that's a local brand or maybe they have an Etsy or something, so. Ooh, also biodegradable products, sustainably handmade in Nepal. Oh, okay, that answers that question then. Oh, cute. Supporting ethical practices and continuing to keep these amazingly skilled ladies securely employed in an environment that has great working conditions, pays fairly and enables them to be independent. I love her. Don't know where I'm gonna put her yet, but. You're adorable. That's my haul um, of fun things. Fun, cute things. I just love things. I'm definitely not a minimalist. No, I love things. I love my, my environment to be filled with like memories. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching everyone.